My name is Edwina Otto, and I'm from Spartanburg, South Carolina. I have essential tremors, officially diagnosed about 20 years ago, 25 maybe. I knew what I had before I was officially diagnosed. My grandfather has had essential tremors, my father had essential tremors, and so did an aunt. So I was familiar with my symptoms, so I pretty much knew what I had. It was waiting to a point where I felt that I needed to do something about them. The tremors were just getting worse. I was doing adult education in a hospital setting, and under no circumstances could I write on the blackboard. Um, nobody would have been able to read it. And there were other parts of the role that the tremors were really interfering with other people's learning. And so I would have to figure out a way for other people to come and do it, and I would instruct them as they did it or find other ways of, of teaching. It was depressing to have to compromise what I felt would have been a better way of teaching because my hands were tremoring so much. Over the last year, they have definitely gotten worse. When I'm out in public, you know, I end up having to ask somebody to pour my glass of water for me because I can't. And I'm very conscious, I think, much more than other people are of my, my tremors. And um, I like to be in control all the time. And so it's, it's very frustrating to have to ask somebody else to do something for me. I love to sew and have for years. You use a paper pattern when you're sewing and it's extremely difficult to cut out a very tissue-like paper when your hands tremor. So you end up using more scotch tape than you'd want to sometimes. We cook a lot and together and I uh, have trouble chopping onions or anything with a sharp knife. I have been fortunate and have not majorly cut myself, but there have been some close calls. I went on Facebook. The sound wave treatment made a lot of sense to me because I understood about being able to kill cells either with an ablation in the heart or with uh, sound waves. And there's a site where you can contact for more information and it just kind of progressed from there. Insight Tech educators, Adam and Stephanie, really walked me through the whole process and supported me too because I, you know, obviously was nervous about having this done, but you know, they explained it in such detail and um, in such a caring way. It wasn't just a job and one more phone call. You know, I, I really was someone to them. This procedure with Insight Tech is going to be worth it. Um, I'm nervous <laughs> and excited at the same time. And I think the reason I went ahead with it, in spite of having my head shaved, that um, I have a granddaughter who has the most loving heart in the whole world. And a couple of years ago, at the age of 10, one of her friends had cancer and lost all of his hair. And this other classmates' mother came and asked the other kids if any of them would be willing to shave their head in his support. And my granddaughter said yes, without thinking twice about it. And I thought, you know, if she can do that for a friend, I can certainly have my head shaved and live with the questions or whatever, because it's going to benefit me, not even somebody else. So, yes, hopefully this will be successful and I will be able to pick up a glass of wine with one hand and drink it with one hand, not spill it, 
and to be able to sew or chop food without the absolute concentration that I've had to use in the past. I really look forward to any improvement um, is going to help immensely. All right, welcome back. Thank you. How was the ride? <laughs> it's like you went on a roller coaster oh, ride. Yeah, huh? that's exactly. right. Welcome back to the station. The ride wasn't yes. bad. Look at that. There. What do you think? I think that's wonderful. I do too. That's <laughs> awesome. How'd it go? Look at that. Damn. Yes. Do you like <laughs> amazing? Do you like coffee? Or you should have a detailed conversation with your physician regarding the risks and benefits of treatment options prior to treatment. The most common complications reported by subjects in Insight Tech-sponsored clinical studies after treatment included imbalance, gait disturbance, numbness, tingling, and headache, head pain. Most complications were classified as mild or moderate, and 48% resolved on their own within 30 days. Additional infrequent events included dizziness, taste disturbance, slurred speech, fatigue, and vomiting. Persistent complications at three years included numbness, tingling, imbalance, unsteadiness, gait disturbance, and musculoskeletal weakness. For complete safety information, please visit essential-tremor.com slash safety-information.